Texas Governor Greg Abbott has activated wildfire resources across the state because of growing wildfire danger. Travis, Williamson, Hayes and 176 other counties are under a disaster proclamation. And this week, a company is showing off newly developed technology that has the power to extinguish wildfires in a matter of seconds. Steve Wolf is the CEO of Team Wildfire. He's here to tell us more about this new technology. We thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much, Ashley. As Grace was saying earlier, hot, dry weather, strong winds, that's a recipe for wildfire. Right. It turns out the antidote to wildfire weather is making anti-wildfire weather. And that is simply a matter of redirecting the wind and generating our own mist and our own rain, pushing the wildfires back. One of the things I think is interesting, this has been described as a hurricane <laughs> to, yes. to, to put out wildfires. Tell us about this hurricane on wheels, as they call it. Yes, well, firefighters said that nothing would put out a wildfire except a hurricane, so we invented one for them, and this is essentially a hurricane on wheels. So whichever way the wind is going near a fire, that's where the fire is going to go. And by using jet engines, we can be the dominant wind force at the fire line and literally push the fire back on itself while blasting it with water and retardants. And we can get our photographer to freeze just a moment. He's showing us, you know, basically what this is. I want you to talk to us about how this works, particularly what's in this section right here. <laughs> a jet engine is in that section, Ashley. Uh, and that jet engine breaks the water up into a fine mist, so you have lots of surface area for cooling and then it drives it very forcefully at the fire. You can also put this out in front of a fire and just lay retardant out to create a chemical break so that the fire can no longer continue to advance. Talk to us about how you were able to get a jet engine into, I mean, because people can't fully see the size of this. This is actually your smaller version of this, right? Yes, right, this is the small, nimble version. We turned that, we shut it down now so we don't disturb the neighbors too much. <laughs> uh, it's, it's quite loud, but, uh, we have another one of these that's 25 tons. So it is an engine from a 727 mounted on a 20 ton military truck. And that has a range of about 700 feet. So this is a small tactical unit. It can get in between buildings. It can get into backyards. Great and for grass fires, smaller grass it's, fires. It's so perfect for gas fires. In fact, this machine right here in your front yard was the first machine to put out a wildfire using a jet engine. That machine put out a 38 acre fire in under 10 minutes using just 200 gallons of water. Wow, which is really important because they're saving water by using something like this. Th that's right, you get between 10 and 40 times the efficiency out of every gallon of water when you drive it via jet engine. Now, we have to take a step back and tell us, how did you even come up with this idea? Uh, it, when I was working with the local fire departments, I was on the Bastrop Fire and the Pinnacle Tower Fire, and I asked the firefighters, why are we going in there armed essentially with medieval gardening tools when these fires are so destructive? What would it take to actually put these fires out? And they laughed at me and they said it would take a hurricane. Well, when James Cameron or Tom Cruise tells me they need a hurricane, we would actually build them a hurricane. We want to we so. take a moment and point <laughs> out you are formerly, you, did, you worked on stunts. Yeah, I was a, a stunt special effects coordinator. So when they want hurricane force winds or torrential downpour on a movie set, we make it for them. It's not a joke. And so I wondered why is it that a movie director can choose the type of weather they want, precipitation, wind speed, wind direction, but a fire chief doesn't have that same ability. So with this technology, now fire chiefs can actually control the weather at the fire line just the way a director would on a movie and push that fire back. Yeah, it is fascinating technology, really interesting stuff. Team Wildfire is the company. If you guys want to check out and learn more about this and how this is could potentially help firefighters all across our country. Steve Wolf, CEO of that, that company.